Okay guys, bit of a different video today, going to Chiang Mai on a first class train here. Just picked up the ticket. Actually on the train you get a private room. So if you're traveling solo, you have to get like two tickets. I think the top bunk and the bottom bunk. And then you have your like own private little room. But if you go as a couple, you just, one pays the top bunk, one pays the bottom bunk. So let me see. For the top one, I think it's 1,446, and the bottom one is 1,246. So got the tickets, got to go to the gate now. It's really easy, you just get the MRT to Bangsu, and it connects with this train station. So let's go and find our platform. I'm excited to see this train, actually. I've never been on it, so it should be fun. I think it's about eight to 10 hour train ride. Actually, the transport here is really good because it's all in English and like really easy. I find it easier to go around Bangkok than London, for example. So I think we can just scan. I'm not sure. Let's go to the counter and see. Because I've got a couple of hours till the train goes, I just left a bit early. I'm never normally this early. Normally I run late, but because it's rush hour at the time I left, I said I better make it in time. So I've j just got to go and try and get some food from 7-Eleven as it's going to be a long train ride. And I'm not 100% sure will they have food on the train. I'm pretty sure they will, but 7-Eleven's a good bet to stock up for the night. Check out Bangsu Station, how big it is. It's a new enough station. Pretty nice, isn't it? To be fair. So let's go to 7 or some little market and try and get some food. I've never been actually outside the front of this. It doesn't seem like there is a 7-Eleven lot. This train station is actually not like a train station. It's like an airport. It's so big. It's a trek just to go to the shop. But they do have a few little stores popping up. It seems like they're going to have loads of like street food kind of little stations. You know the way they do it in Thailand. So let's go and get some snacks for this train ride. I think the sale is that five star chicken over there, no? Uh, the shops aren't even fully stocked yet. Has this place like just opened? You'll have to let me know in the comments, I'm not sure. Quickly picked up some mama noodles and a coffee and some crispy pork. They've kind of got these uh, containers of like pad capeo, crispy pork and rice. Uh, picked up that and it only cost 100 baht for crispy pork, coffee, mama noodles, so not too bad. They've called us to go on the train. This is the train. This is the first class. Well, I think I've bought first class. I hope I've bought first class. But this seems like a bit of an old train. But I'm in section 11, so I think I have to walk to the front of the train. It seems like they sell food on there as well, so let's go. I hope, I hope we book right and not in here. I will cry. I will literally cry. It, it's starting to look a bit newer. The further we get up, we should be all right. Okay, let's go, let's go, come on. Oh, watch the head. Okay, it's a lot narrower than I thought. If you're tall, you're pretty screwed. Ah, where's the numbers? Three, four. 23 and 24. This one. Okay, welcome to my crib. This is what a first class luxury train's looking like. Very tight squeeze. I thought it was gonna be a bit bigger, but we've got a sink here. Two bottles of water, two cups. What's in here? Next door? I cannot get in. Maybe can see next door. You've got something to like put a bag, but a big bag will not fit up there. This is the top bunk. This is the bottom bunk. And that's how it's looking, guys. You've got the air con up there. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty small. Got like a workstation table here where you can leave your drinks and food. It's decent enough. I think there's a toilet outside. We'll check that out later. But I will put the price. 
if you're traveling alone you can book out like a full cabin for yourself but you have to pay for the two beds still so i'll put the total price of what a room costs on the screen right now what's this bright dimmer no that doesn't work the lights work yeah that's pretty much it you've got a view can you open the window i wonder no there's some plug sockets down here too i think i hope because i need to charge the cameras okay as i said only one can fit down <laughs> it's crazy it's so funny guys you've got families like I, I think i saw four people going the one like they've got two kids so you can obviously book it so we have to look where the toilet is seems like our cabin's furthest away from the toilet I'm not sure is this it okay so this is the toilet oh my god look at it a classic squat shitter actually i don't mind the squat toilets i'm used to it guys i lived in the province before and in isan for a little bit so i can squat to shit i'm not privileged little sink a bin oh of course a bum shooter bum gun so toilets okay <laughs> At least it's clean. Let's go. I think that's the only toilet, right? So that's the toilet shared. There's how many rooms there? About six to eight rooms in our little section. So that's the view from our toilet. There's another train going there now as well. This is the door we come in. What's this? Smelly, tell me. But as you can see, very, very tight squeeze. I mean, generally Asian people are quite small, so it's not too bad, I suppose. But like, if you're a tall foreigner, six foot plus, you're gonna have some problems because look, I'm only 5'11", guys, and if I'm not looking where I'm going in the night, I'm smashing my head here off the roof. So yeah, quite a tight squeeze, or if you're quite big, you might struggle but at least like you saw second class they've just got a curtain to separate them but it seems more spacious in there because it's not like boxed off but it's nice to have a bit of privacy you know you can lock the door and just chill and have a good night's sleep got another train going there to rang it now so we're en route for Chiang Mai guys that's gonna be the next destination. Got an all-nighter on this train, but it should be super comfy. I haven't done a bed test yet, so let's go back to the room. I'm on the top bunk now, as you can see. Head's pretty close to the roof, but uh, to, to be honest, the mattress is super thin, but it's, it's all right, it's comfy enough. We've just started to go now, so take a look outside. It's already night. It's already night time, so I don't know will we see much of a view, but we'll see when we leave the station. <laughs> oh my god. I hope, I hope the person next door is not a snorer. Guys, th these ladders are not stable as well, they're half broke. I want to see... Check out the bottom bunk. I want to see, do they have a light though? They don't have... What's this? Oh, they have a little light there, nice. So you can do some reading if you're on the bottom bunk. You have the curtain there as well to block you off from anyone seeing you. It's getting pretty dark now though, guys. As you can see behind me outside, look. It's dark. There's gonna be no view. We're just leaving Bangkok. So gonna eat some snacks now and en route to Chiang Mai. It's not too cold actually in here um i'm not sure how this aircon works it's not cold it's not hot i'm in shorts and a t-shirt it's just right to be honest you've got this here too you can switch on mini aircon 
Ah, that, that'll keep the place cool enough, I suppose, in the night. So the staff come round, guys, and you can get uh, food. They've got satay, BC, chicken masa man curry, red curry, train fried rice, they call it. Oh, you have to book if you want tomorrow. So you have to book breakfast if you want it in the morning too. They have barbecue, chicken steak, ham and cheese sandwich. All right, guys, um, I did eat in the train station. I did not eat it on camera, that crispy pork. And you guys know I love the food in Thailand. And I always say you cannot get bad food in Thailand, but you can in train stations, apparently. People keep knocking the doors. I don't know, is it also next door? You can hear every sound. Is it? Yeah. Is it? So. Wait, someone's knocking the door again. Just trying to do my fried chicken segment. Two seconds. Oh my God. Can a man eat his chicken? Hello. Oh, ticket. I was thinking I did not show the tickets when I got on the train. Thank you. I was just about to eat my chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank yes. you. <sighs> Between crazy people and the staff, finally I will get to eat my chicken. So we'll see if the fried chicken in the train station is any better. Pretty decent. Mm. I also picked up some uh, snacks from the vending machine, 7-Eleven vending machine. Those who have been to Thailand will know 7-Elevens are like lifesavers in some situations. They literally have all different types of food and snacks. So I've picked up a high protein chicken sandwich by Oishi, Japanese I'd say. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Obviously not much to do as it's the middle of the night, so good night and we will see you in the morning in Chiang Mai. It's good morning. It was a bit of a bumpy ride last night. The train does shake a lot. I did sleep quite okay because I can sleep pretty much anywhere but if you're a light sleeper you're definitely not going to get too much sleep. It does, the train does throw you around a bit and as you can hear there is a bit of noise and screeches coming from the track. But other than that it was okay for me, I did sleep a good few hours. It's now around 6.30 and I think she'll be bringing the food and coffee soon. Been raining all night as well. So we've got the rice soup. Give it a quick taste test to see how the train food is. Mm. It's actually quite good. I'm surprised. Normally you don't expect much if it's on a train or a plane, but it's pretty decent. Okay. Hmm. But guys, it is quite a bit pricey as well, so I would suggest there's not a 7-Eleven by the train station, so go to your nearest 7-Eleven before you come to the train station and just stock up on all the snacks and food you want because it's just going to work out cheaper. It's just like that, we've arrived in Chiang Mai. Bit of a crap day, but now I have to go and get the motorbike. So that was pretty much the train ride to Chiang Mai on the first class. So that's it for this video. See you on the next one. Ciao.